Hi everyone, so today I will be showing you guys how to cook Yaimiko special dish which is Fuguchi Udon and you can acquire the recipe in the new 2.5 update. Her special dish is most likely inspired by the real life recipe of Kitsune Udon and you can go to Shimura Kanbei to acquire the recipe. So right now I'm boiling water at the side and we're going to get started with the broth. Her broth is a simple congruent dashi broth and for those of you who want to follow along, I have other ingredients, measurements, and such listed down below in the description. And just a disclaimer, this is my partner Jim's recipe. There's no way I could ever come up with a recipe like this, so thank you Jim's. Right now, I will just be adding some kombu pieces into the boiling water and we're going to let that simmer for about 5 minutes. soup base looks like this but don't worry we're going to add a lot more things later now that's been around five minutes i'm going to add my bonito dashi packet into my soup and if you want to use the same brand it looks like this on the outside since it's been a while i'm going to take out the cup i'm going to add some seasoning to make it really flavorful starting off with salt some soy sauce. I just eyeballed the soy sauce. Lastly, I'm going to add a bit of brown sugar to the soup so that it'll have some sweetness and I'll let it simmer for a while and we're pretty much done with the soup. After this, we'll move on to the noodles as well as the toppings for the udon. This is what my soup looks like and I'm actually going to take it off the stove and transfer it to another bowl so that I can use the same pot to cook noodles. So normally this whole entire cooking process should take about 20 to 30 minutes if you have two to three pots, but I only have one pot currently so that's why it's going to take me a little longer and I'm using the same pot again. While the water is boiling, I'm going to be working on my kamaboko on the side or fish cake, which is the sakura shaped topping on her udon. So to replicate the dish as specifically as possible, my kamaboko is pink rimmed on the outside and I just want you all to know that this would be a lot easier to do if you had a sakura shaped cookie cutter somewhere. However, I didn't find that at my supermarket so today I'm going in with a butter knife and later on with floss to carve out the shapes. I'm not going to lie, it was hard to cut out the kamaboko with a butter knife but I think I still managed and here I'm for the first one I just kind of did like a practice and I ended up cutting out a star shape rather than a sakura shape than I had first intended because actually sakura is a very intricate shape. And as I just mentioned, I will be cooking my udon noodles as I'm preparing my kamaboko pieces and this is the brand I used. And I only used half of one batch of noodles since I'm the only person here and half is enough for me. The udon noodles are supposed to cook for 8 to 10 minutes and every now and then I will be stirring the pot to make sure that my noodles don't get stuck to the bottom of the pot. to prepare a bowl of cool water on the side so that you can put your udon noodles in later as soon as you're done. For this piece of kamaboko, I'm attempting to use the sharp end of a toothpick to see if it cuts better. However, I came to the conclusion that in my situation, the butter knife worked the best and that the toothpick was a little bit too flimsy. Instead of cutting a single sakura from one piece of kamaboko, what I'm doing is I'm going to cut five separate sakura petals and I'm going to assemble them to one big petal later. And this is what my first successful petal looks like. It has just the tiniest tint of pink on the top too. <laughs> 
it's been about eight minutes since i was boiling my noodles so i'm going to take out one strand to do a test strand and see if my knife can cut through the noodle if your knife can cut through the noodle just fine it means that it's ready but in this case my udon noodles were not ready at all as you can see like i wasn't able to cut through it at all Since it's been about another 4 minutes, I'm going to do one less cut to see if I can cut through noodles and I think over here it looks like I'm kind of struggling but actually it was because first of all I used the same knife that I used to cut my first test strand and it's also a butter knife so it's not super sharp but I was able to cut through it so that's why I'm draining my noodles and I'll be transferring it to the bowl of cold water. I promise this is the last time we're going to boil water. I'm going to be cooking inari, which is tofu pouch and the kamaboko in the water when it's ready. My inari just looks like this. It's actually a two in one, but I'm only going to be cooking one pouch. And inari is obviously a big component of her udon, and we're going to be decorating the inari later too. While my tofu pouch is boiling, I'm going to work on more kamaboko petal pieces because currently I only have about four and I'm aiming for about seven. I'm aiming to cut the kamaboko into kind of like heart shape and when it assembles to become a big sakura flower, I think it looks pretty decent. So for this piece, I would say I was relatively successful at getting like the pink edge on the sakura petal. Ta-da! Now that my water is ready, I'm going to be boiling my tofu pouch as well as my fish cake. And after that, we'll finally be able to assemble everything. you can miss the cherry on top or which in this case is green onion so while my inari and kamaboko are boiling i will be cutting my green onion into pieces and so that we can garnish later Halfway, I did transition to scissors because it was just easier to cut the green onions with the scissors but do however as you like Now on to decorating the inari. If I'm not wrong, what happened to her inari is that she basically branded the fox inscription on. However, I don't have a brand so I'm going to get creative and I'm going to use the kelp to kind of place the fox shape on top of the inari. So I finally have everything and now I'm going to assemble my udon noodle. So I'm gonna try my best to shape it like, whoa, it's so big. I'm gonna try my best to shape it like this, obviously. So let's do this.
that's it for her special dish and i hope you guys enjoyed the video obviously per usual if you guys decide to recreate the dish do let me know in the comments down below and also per usual all the ingredients measurements and all that will be listed in the description as well and thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time in my next cooking stream or video bye